James Samba, a student and self-innovator at Limcoquing University, has made history by being the first Sierra Leonean to build an electronic self-rechargeable solar panel mini bus. His dreams of becoming an innovator started since he was eight when he opened a radio to see how it was made. The 20-year-old innovator took a step further by creating his own remote-controlled car because his parents could not afford it at that time. At the height of the coronavirus pandemic, he created an automatic hand-washing station for frequent hand-washing to minimize the spread of the virus. According to James, the dream of creating this bus started in 2020 to help reduce the difficulty in public transportation. This latest invention of James has a special feature like a wireless charging port and a normal USB port at all seats. Of course, I got to know that um, the high cost of public transportation is um, affecting the transportation fare that the general public is um, offering to pay to move from one point to another. That's serving as a major problem. I think an electric car or electric vehicle is needed in Sierra Leone. Khadija, sister and guardian of James, said, when a brother started this project, most people thought it was almost impossible for him to accomplish. James uses, let me say, only a thousand to pop a week or two in the meter I have at home. Yeah. If I buy credit for our meter, James will use, let me say, 90% of it. But with that, I'm proud of him. For James, to accomplish this milestone, he had to sell, among other things, his laptop. The young man is confident that his invention is convenient, reliable, and safe for public use. It is time for him to promote civil union businesses. This 10-seater human carrier, made out of 60% of recycled local materials from scraps, was calibrated by James Samba out of the global desire of reducing fossil fuel into green energy. It means this machine can function using only solar and no gasoline or fuel. It can go 60 to 80 kilometers an hour and a total range of 150 kilometers when it is fully charged. Unlike other locally or even international vehicles available, this ride which is so comfortable provides space for persons with disabilities on wheelchair. I wouldn't want this to be so something that's just for a public view, but it's there to solve a problem. I want to plead to government partners, to people um, in the NGOs or NGOs, in order to see this as a solution being made for um, the people of Sierra Leone. Your support is greatly needed in, in, in um, the acceleration of this particular project to another level. During his days in high school, James was an art student who never had lessons in physics or chemistry. But he can now create things even some of the best science students can't. His story is sufficient to make everyone believe they can do anything and everything without fear and with the willpower. SLBC News, Gabriel Tumansari reporting.